Hey guys, I'm back with Dave here. Now today we're going to be talking about chainsaw bar oil grades, winter, summer oil, and why you should always use the proper grade of oil in your chainsaw, especially your new chainsaw. So you were asking me the other day, Dave, about different types of bar oil, you know, summer, winter, and why that exists. Right. So I um, am learning how to fix chainsaws. I'm yep. not very proficient at using chainsaws or cutting with chainsaws yet. I mean, I can well, start you a will be. I can, <laughs> you will be. I can start a chainsaw and I can cut. I, I can I can buck a, a, a fell tree, but you know, yep. uh, felling trees myself. So I don't have a ton of experience <clears throat> in you know deciding what kind of bar oil. I think I have this mm -hmm. oil here, and that's all I've ever used for myself. But um, I mean, I can guess that there's a difference in viscosity between them. Like this one yeah. will be a bit um, lighter uh, or, or more viscous. Yeah, this is the Arctic. That's the yeah, winter oil. Yeah, winter. So it's yeah. it's it's lighter. It is lighter. Dave. You're summer. absolutely yeah. correct. Yeah, yeah. And this one's a little bit thicker. But exactly. I mean, could I get away with just using this all year round? I, I don't know. Okay, here's the deal, Dave. Yeah. So the new chainsaws nowadays are not like the old ones where you could basically put molasses in them in the middle of winter here right. and okay. the, and you know it would run through it okay Dave so right now it's around 20 degrees here the oil is quite runny exactly and if you move the winter oil here you can tell it's a little thinner but it's not that huge of a difference right now because it's about 20 degrees right okay. but if it was minus 10 this would be the only one that's exactly yeah, okay yeah it'd be moving a lot better right so the point i want to make here is for example if you were using summer oil mm -hmm. all year round in the winter and you know it gets cold here in canada yeah, it does. what may happen in your newer saw because right. they're more sensitive right is that it may not be able to send that oil to the bar oh, okay 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 so the, the pumps and some of the newer saws are more sensitive right. to the oil grades, okay? Yeah. So like I just mentioned earlier, you could use any kind of oil in older saws. Right. Didn't and it, was, it didn't matter as much. Okay, so is there any warranty implication when you run, uh, if you were to take your saw into the dealer? If you absolutely, it in, you know, absolutely. If you're running this in, in July? So absolutely, Dave. So the biggest thing that I've seen people do with their newer saws is run the summer oil in the winter. Okay. Okay, now you might be wondering what's that going to do even if it doesn't send out as much oil right. to the barn chain. Well, what it's going to do is wear out your barn chain prematurely. Okay. So another thing that's gonna happen, Dave, if you don't use the proper oil, so if you were using summer oil in the winter okay. and it's not getting enough oil, right. you see the roller at the end here, the yes. roller sprocket? Yes. So what I've seen happen, Dave, is that the roller here at the end of the bar, yep. the, the roller at the end of the tip, will actually seize in the bar. Uh, okay. Okay, so if you see a chainsaw, if you buy a chainsaw, you work on one, yep. and the tip is like... Hard to move there. Yeah. Kind of seized, kind of rough. The sprocket, yeah. yeah okay. Seized, I mean seized, Dave, to where you can't even turn it. Oh, well, yeah, okay. Okay, and this color, that means it got hot because... Right. The thick summer oil in the winter... Didn't make it all the way to the end. It wasn't making it all got the it. way to the end. Okay. Okay. Now, do you run that same... Do you run that uh, the same kind of risk if you're using uh, winter oil in the summer? Probably the same thing, right? Because it's it's too it's too thin to make exactly it all the exactly. Now that's a good question, Dave, because you can damage your bar using winter oil in the summer. Believe it or not, because it doesn't lubricate as much. Exactly. I'll show you, I'll show you again with the bar here why. Okay. So what can happen, Dave, is if you use winter oil in the summer, it's going to be so thin, mm -hmm. it may not stick as well as the summer one. Uh, got it. And when you're using the chainsaw, all the oil may go flying off the chain and not actually stay. <laughs> so it only gets okay. to here, but not around the bottom. Interesting. Yeah, it, it might just get up to here yeah. and then... Fling off onto the Fling bottom. off, exactly, okay? Right. right. Now, if you if you do like scientific tests, you would see that, right. okay. But I, I'm I'm telling you what a guy told me. He's been working on chainsaws for forty years. Oh, He's wow. seen it all. Jeez. I just spoke to him the other day, and he gave me uh, all these tips to mention in the video today. Very cool. Those are things that will happen. You can also damage your oil pump. Yep. 
Okay, and again here, Dave, I'm talking more about the modern new chainsaws. Right. Okay, because the older saws, you could basically run anything through there. So if my old 026 that I have, I could just go get, get cooking oil and it'd be fine? Or Okay, good point, Dave. You, yeah, you would be fine, but again... I might get in trouble, I mean, using all the cooking oil yeah, yeah. and chainsaw, Pretty but... <laughs> so, so the issue you would get using cooking oil or canola oil, Dave, yeah. is there's less polymers in it that are sticky. Yeah, so that it, okay. would, it would just fling off. Okay. Yeah, okay. It, it's not as sticky. So the chainsaw bar oil is made for saws mm -hmm. and it's sticky. There's a huge difference between using vegetable oil or motor oil in your saw right. as opposed to using the proper bar oil. Right, so if you have a chainsaw, you should probably buy chainsaw oil. Is that what you're saying? You should, yeah, because, <laughs> <laughs> because really nowadays the bar oil is not any more expensive than buying motor oil right 13.99 for a gallon exactly not bad exactly what's that under 10 bucks in this case. exactly cool now while we're talking about getting proper oil to the bar and chain dave mm -hmm. you see that little hole here okay and yeah. i know you're familiar with that yep. the oiler hole yep okay so always make sure that this little hole here is clean how do you clean it if it gets plugged uh you can use a pick you can use uh you know a blow gun air, air, air compressor air compressor and there's a hole on each side okay okay so good practice is to once in a while flip your bar over on your chainsaw right that's why sometimes you see a chainsaw and you think the bar's on upside down because the logo's upside down right but that's because the owner wants to wear out the bar properly. Right. You told me that before. It, it yeah. wears unevenly sometimes. That's exactly. It doesn't look as cool, but... Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. So, again, so good practice is to keep that hole clean all the time. And also the rail, the right. groove, where the groove is. Right. Okay, because sawdust builds up in there. It absorbs the oil and your chain's not getting lubed the right. way it should. And more, um, more friction. Exactly. Got it. So that's just a tip I want to pass on here while we're talking about lubrication. Cool. Does that make sense, Dave? Do you have any more questions? No, I think that pretty much covers it. Okay, well, I have a surprise for you. Oh, okay. There's actually a third jug of oil. What? <laughs> okay, what's this? <laughs> what's this say? Four saison. Oh, okay. That's Four French. saison. That, yeah, that's French. Four All seasons. All season. All season. Cool. Okay, here's the deal with that. So jug. when do I use this? Okay, this in actuality, even though it's called all season, okay. is a medium grade oil. Okay. So it's in between the two, just like you put it in here. Okay. So can I just use this year round then and probably be fine or? Um, I wouldn't. Uh. I don't recommend it. The time, the best time to use the all season, which in reality is medium grade. Okay. Is in between the seasons. So spring, spring, fall, fall uh, yeah. you, you know, like in yeah. the spring, it, it's sunny one day, it's cold the next, yeah. and it goes on for a month or so. Yeah. That's the time to use this one. Right. Okay. Okay. Now, a lot of people don't bother with that. They right. just kind of go, I'm either using winter and then I'm just going to switch to summer. Right. But like, okay. So think like, so in somebody in my position, yeah. I use my chainsaw 10 times a year. Yeah. Is there an option that, and, and not not a ton i don't use it a ton yeah. is there an option out of all three of these that i can just run and just not have to worry about it even if i run in the winter versus the summer or uh, is, that, is that being a negligent chainsaw owner no not really so it depends on the climate you where you live okay here Canada, okay so here can exactly or 30 in the summer so we have extremes here yeah so it's important and critical that you stick with the summer and winter oil okay if you don't go with the medium in between the seasons, it's not a big deal. Okay. Okay. Uh, however, if you have a really expensive new chainsaw that costs a couple grand, yeah, yeah. why not spend the extra 10 bucks yeah, or 13 no, right. bucks, okay? You're right, yeah. If you live in Florida, for example, where they don't get the cold that we do, all you need is this. Yeah. Okay. If you live in the Antarctic or the Arctic, you just need this. Right. But if you live where we live, yeah. you might want to have the three jugs, okay? okay? It, the middle jug here is not super critical, right? okay? But if you do use it... Best practice. It's best practice, yeah. but not totally necessary. Cool. All right, Dave, did that answer everything? Well, as long as you don't have another 
No, there's not. There's magic no jug to pull out. And there's no there's fourth, four. There's there's no fourth jug. Got it. And you know what? Um, to be honest, Dave, it took me a while to learn that there was a third option as well. Oh. Okay. Cool. And that's thanks to to Hugh, yeah. the guy I talked to. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I hope this answered every uh, question that every viewer has. If not, just comment below the video here and we'll try our best to answer every single question. Thanks for watching and thanks for being on in the video, Dave. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. And guys, make sure to subscribe to both our channels and have a great day.